This is Jupiter Today for the 16th of January, 2015. Jupiter Today is a daily podcast focusing attention on the dynamic Jupiter system for the purpose of monitoring activity. At zero hours UTC, the position of Jupiter on the celestial sphere is a right ascension of 9 hours, 31 minutes, 23.9 seconds, and a declination of positive 15 degrees, 37 minutes, 40 seconds. The angular separation from the Sun, as seen from Earth, is 155.135 degrees, and that's 1.128 degrees greater than what it was yesterday. The phase angle, the angle between the Earth and the Sun, as seen from Jupiter, continues to get smaller and smaller as we move towards the opposition on February 6th. The phase angle today is 4.453 degrees, and that's 0.188 degrees less than what it was yesterday. The distance also continues to get smaller and smaller. Today it's 660,739,510 kilometers, and that's 996,518 kilometers closer than what it was yesterday and that gives a relative velocity between Earth and Jupiter of 41,521.58 kilometers per hour and that's 1,750 kilometers per hour slower than what it was yesterday. The central meridian at zero hours UTC, CM1 267.22 degrees, CM2 88.25 degrees, CM3 350.99 degrees. So at zero hours UTC, you can see that EO is in quadrant four, heading east. Europa is in quadrant one, still heading east. And Ganymede is also in quadrant one, heading east. And Callisto is just coming out of the shadow of Jupiter, also heading east. At 6 hours UTC, Io is now moving behind Jupiter, and Europa is near its eastern elongation, going into quadrant 2 and going to be swinging to the west. Ganymede and Callisto spend all day in quadrant 1 heading east. 12 hours UTC, Io is now also in quadrant one, heading east. Europa's passed its eastern elongation and is now heading west in quadrant two. 1800 hours. Eos just passed its eastern elongation. Europa continues in quadrant two. And at zero hours UTC tomorrow, Eo is in quadrant two, heading west. Europa is also in quadrant two, heading west. Ganymede quadrant one still heading east, getting pretty close to its eastern elongation, and Callisto continues to move eastward as well. There were three Jupiter satellite events today. At 2.40 UTC, Callisto reappears from behind Jupiter. At 5.28, Io disappears into the shadow of Jupiter. And at 8.19, Io reappears from behind Jupiter. There's one satellite mutual event, which I will also show my new graphic for. This is a Google Earth image, and this point right here is the location on the Earth where Jupiter is at the zenith at the time of this satellite mutual event and you can see that most of North America will be able to see this and some of South America although it'll be fairly low on the horizon to see that people over in Hawaii will also be able to get a fairly good view but also still pretty low and that satellite mutual event is going from 941 to 953 UTC and that's when Europa occults Ganymede 
and I can show that off here as well. And you can see at 941, this is about just past the 9 o'clock time slot, 941 about there. And on Ganymede, 941 about here, you can draw that line and you can see that it's actually parallel to the Earth line. Okay, 24 hours of Jupiter sky. There goes Io into the shadow of Jupiter. back in. The red spot crosses the Jupiter's meridian three times today, the first at 0 hours 17 minutes UTC, the next at 10.12, and the third at 20.08 UTC. There were some new images posted. And here's a movie that someone made of the occultation event that happened on January 12th when, as you can see, Eo is moving behind Ganymede. And there were no new papers. So please subscribe. Enjoy hearing your comments and suggestions and questions. You can also send your images to the email shown. And until tomorrow, I bid you peace.